Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Are we ready to talk about true and false number sentences? Yes. Okay, great. Okay, so we have our first sentence, which is 28 minus 6 plus 9 equals 31. So just say true or false as loud as you can, whether you think it's true or false. I want to hear the majority of the class. So one, two, three. True! Okay, so most of you thought this was true. Can someone explain why? Gabriel, why do you think this is true? Well, because if you know the order of operation, mm -hmm. you know that if it's all the same operation, you have to start from the beginning of the problem. Absolutely. What's the beginning of the problem, left or right? Um, left. Left. Okay, so we start with 28 minus 6, which is? 22. 22, 22 very good. Plus 9. 31. And that's 31. Excellent. So this number sentence is true. And that popped up from my last problem. Yeah, so I had to erase that other stuff. Very good. What about this second problem here? 28 minus 6 plus 9 equals 13. Well, if we already said that the first one is 31, could the second problem possibly be true? What do you think, Gayatri? I think it can be true. It can be true. Why do you say so? Um, well, first you have to add something to it for it to be true. So what would I add? Parentheses. Where should I put parentheses? Um, before the 6 and after the 9. Excellent. So who knows what parentheses mean in a problem? Nick, what does it that mean? It means you do that uh, thing first. You do that part of the problem first. Excellent. So everyone, 6 plus 9 equals 15. 15. And now I can go back to 28 minus 15. And what does that equal? 13. You got it. So this number sentence is in fact true if we add the parentheses, but otherwise it would be false. Right. So you guys did a great job on that. Excellent work. 